Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be swatching another set of markers that I picked up at Five Below. These are alcohol markers, dual tip. They do have a color number and a name on the barrel. Um, they are bold tip and fine tip and they are alcohol based markers. So this set is the neutrals colors. There is a bright colors, but in my move, I misplaced a few of the colors, so I'm not gonna be swatching that set. Um, one of the things I do like about these markers, you can look and it will basically tell you which side is bold and which side is the fine tip. The bold tip, fine tip pretty obvious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch these and I'm going to see what you, let you know what I think. Um, this one is a blue gray. Um, I do like the um, colors on the barrels. So I'm going to see what, you know, if I like the color here. So this is BG1 blue gray one. It is a little streakier than the one in my previous video, which I'll link below. They're a little, they don't flow as well on this paper. It could be that there, there may be a little bit on the dried out side, which, you know, that can be remedied by adding a little, few drops of rubbing alcohol. They do have a finer tip um, on the fine tip side, so you get a more, you know, controlled line. You also can get a small, a slightly finer line by using the tip of the broad tip. Um, on that. So this one is the BG1 Blue Gray. And yeah, let's, so let's see how these work. Um, I may put you on time lapse. I may talk through some of these. But yeah, so let's see what these do. Um, I'm just going to keep going across the row. So this one is 120 Black. And yeah, this one is really juicy, so I really like that. It's not streaky like the one in my previous video, but my previous video probably was a little bit on the dried out side. So yeah, I really, I like these. And I'm just gonna type, just write 120 black. Just write it with the marker, so less work for me and don't have to grab so many pens. Alright, there is, um, this one is a warm gray. They, to me, I thought these were going to be browns. Um, they are more brown. This, to me, does not look like a gray. Um, they call it a warm gray. But, it's brown. So, I wasn't disappointed in that they were mostly browns. Um, this one, And this one is WG4 Warm Gray. Like I said, this is brown. It's not really warm gray to me. Um, so now this one is a, it's called Reddish Brass. So they're very neutral colors, which is why I picked up this set because to do a neutral base color under some other products for mixed media. And as I said, this is 155. Reddish brass. So yeah, it's, I like it. Okay, this one is a, another warm gray. This one's warm gray seven. So let's take it just to WG7 warm gray. And let's see how this one, this one is definitely more of a gray. Still on the brown side. On the very brown side. Burnt umber. So let's see if this is 
what I'm expecting. Yeah, I love this. I really like this color. I like putting this under my landscapes when I'm working on Georgia Red Clay. This color is pretty much what Georgia Red Clay is once it's had some rain on it. So this one is 412 Burnt Umber. And as I said on, like, on the last video, um, the color numbers are pretty arbitrary because you can't buy them individually. So, baby skin pink. I hate when they call anything skin color. It just, I don't know. Just call it apricot or peach, which is pretty much what this says. This reminds me of peach. I do like this color. It would um, probably work pretty good for the undertone of any flesh color. Baby skin pink. I just don't like that name. Yeah, we'll see how these layer later, later on in the video. This one is a yellow ochre. It looks like it's going to be pretty dark to be a yellow ochre. Well, not too bad. It's more on the ochre side, so yeah, it's pretty good. Cool gray. So let's see, compared to the warm gray, this is CG4, and there is a warm gray four. So let's compare these two. Yep, this is definitely cool gray. So we can see this feathers out a lot more than the other markers. It does bleed a lot more, which means it's probably got a lot more, you know alcohol in it. So this is cool gray C G4. Cool gray. So yeah we've got pretty good. And then we got a blue gray. Black. So let's see what this one is. This one is warm gray. Another warm gray. This is warm gray six. Still more on the brown side. light camel. Well, let's see. I may be surprised with this one. Yep. Okay. Pretty good. And so this is four, one, six. Camel. I do think that looks like a camel. So let's see. This one is raw silk. I have no clue. I have no idea what this color is going to end up being. So, hmm. Okay. I guess raw silk is a peachy peach color. So I probably could do pretty well with like skin tones with these. We'll see. So now, let's look at this color range. So we've got that, that, got more of a peach. And then we've got this blue-gray, 
got lots of warm grays and then a couple of cool grays so yeah I think that's a good pretty good range of colors here for five dollars yeah so I hope you enjoyed watching me swatch these they're pretty strong I mean these smell a lot stronger than the ones I swatched in my other video which were the um, illustration markers these are not as strong as these these are very strong these remind me of Prismacolor pretty much these really do the barrel shape the way that they lay down and the smell so if you're pretty averse to certain smells you know these are pretty strong so let's see what we can do with layering let's do light camel it's gonna be a really tan color and then baby skin pink over it so we can get some you know sun-kissed colors we can try yellow ochre and over the peach and now I'm gonna do it the opposite because sometimes laying these down on top of each other is different so this is the yellow ochre over the baby skin pink and here it is the opposite way and you can see a difference there's a big difference between the two colors when you lay the brown on top of that so basically with alcohol markers it pushes the other color down so whatever color you layer on top is going to be the prominent color so at least that's what I've found using alcohol markers over the years so I hope you've enjoyed this little swatching session with my dual tip markers from five below um, as I said there is another sec uh, another collection that is bright colors here I'll show you I just don't have the full collection because some of them have went missing in my studio move but you know here's some that you can see here because they're 12 to a pack and yeah so I mean there's another gray green gray um, ultramarine which is more purple cerulean blue fluorescent rose mint green light napoleon blue vermilion uh, cosmos and terracotta so I will probably come back and swatch these once I find the other the rest of the set and let you know what my take is on these so hope to see you soon please hit that like and subscribe button and leave me a comment and tell me which of these colors is your favorite I'd love to know what you think have a good day